This is so luxurious. vlogging these morning uh, commutes on Friday mornings because it's on the Mount Vernon Trail and WOD and Four Mile Run, ones that I've already done before, but the morning commutes are a little different. It's 16 miles, but I'm basically doing a time trial trying to smash myself into the point that I puke, almost puke. So I'm running mostly at uh, anywhere like 160, 160 to 170 something. It's in the 170s that things start to get iffy for me. Which is starting to make me think that I need to change my change my max heart rate because I don't think I can get up to 192 anymore. Which is crazy, but I guess that's just getting older. The Zevlin DC bar tape was pretty cool, but for my purposes I need something a little bit more padded, and I definitely need something stickier. So we're going to try, after I've had lots of problems with uh, lizard skin, we're going to go with the uh, Zip Service Course Tape, which has been done as a few uh, bikes on the shop, and it feels really good, and it supposedly does not fall apart in your hands like the lizard skins does, so I'm going to give this a try on the new bars. I guess it'd probably be a good idea to uh, check if this actually works before actually taking everything apart. The old SRAM stuff, the transition was harsh. and now The new uh, Hydro levers have a really good transition from the, the hoods to the handlebars. Hopefully that this will be just as good, if not better, because I also like the, uh, the sweep in that flat spot on it. All right, that looks good, let's wrap it. Cannibalized the little section of a uh, shifter cable from my old giant rear derailleur cable. I'm gonna stick that in right in this little spot here so it matches this. Fits in your hand really nice. Lengthens the bar here. choice today. Passing. So many runners. Too many runners. Passing. A couple days later, Still haven't finished this uh, bar wrapping job. That's just the way it works out. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit more tonight before I go ahead and uh, get on the trainer. And the way it's turning out, this may or may not be uh, may or not be my race bike for this weekend because the uh, the other ones, the other full tilt buggy uh, build is not going so well. Lots of things going wrong. So let's get this one figured out first. Uh, today, I weighed myself this morning. It was the first uh, day in two months that I haven't been. The first day under 200 in two months. Let me say it that way. Getting some training in today. Watching Eclo from a couple weeks ago. Eclo Cross. Gonna do some sweating. So let's get this started. Try to put on some extra padding on the top for my sensitive hands. So I got some extra padding both here and here. Because when I'm cruising, I'm ending up with my hands here a lot. I 
wish I'd started the timer when I started this bar tape. It's kind of a shit show. But stuff like... Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's terrible. But... It looks reasonably... I also did this one backwards. So, it's upside down. This is so luxurious. So it's Wednesday, Highsville's this Sunday. I don't know why I keep missing up the days. Yeah, Highsville's this Sunday. And as of right now, no race bike. So I gotta get the B bike in a better position than it is right now. Just did the bar tape and new bar. Um, but have to get the new wheels set up with the tubulars and tape. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, so I was saying just a minute ago, the, the bike that I was sent this season is not ready. There's, honestly, if I did an entire segment on all the things that have gone wrong with this bike, it would be 10 minutes of one thing after another has kind of happened with this. We can't get it to shift into the smallest ring. I'm not sure what that's about. And then uh, we can't get the rear brake to, can't get all the air out of the brake. Can't bleed it right. So again, one thing after another. That was Sunday, it's Wednesday. I haven't even checked to see if anything's been done to the bike. I honestly don't even care at this point. Yeah. We'll make it work, blah, blah, blah. I gotta ride, I don't have any time. Oh, missing gears. Need to figure out angle of this bar. I kind of like where they are right now, but it also feels like I need a little bit more to come back. Ugh. Why? It's almost freaking October. Why is it 87 with the heat index and 90, almost 95, man? You know, I'm hoping that the uh, race on Sunday is gonna be a little bit cooler. I mean, I guess since I'm going off at nine o'clock, it'll be slightly colder than uh Adding to the fun as I got off the bike, put my foot down right there, and the ankle just went pop. I mean, if you don't know me, you might think that's a big deal, but I've got eternally sprained ankles. I, I mean, I feel it, but from skateboarding, my ankles are just like really loose rubber bands right now, so. It's too hot. Every time that I try to put an effort out, my heart rate would spike instantaneously. Ugh. I mean, I wish I, if I had a power meter, I could see that I was definitely doing super low wattage and my heart was just, no, don't do this. Anyway, after I, I had to shut it down on the, the laps, but ended up doing some, uh, getting into some uh, remounting drills, which brought into light the, I don't know, for some reason I can't seem to get in the pedals anymore. It's the same pedals I had last year, no problems, the Issy pedals. It's doing the same thing on the Shimano pedals. I can't, I can't seem to get back in them fast enough. It feels weird to have to look down and like concentrate, but I gotta, I gotta get it. You gotta start pedaling like right away. So you gotta get in. It's super weird. I thought I've been riding Clippus pedals since 1989 and here I am, I gotta actually focus and learn how to get back in the pedals again. Just makes no sense, but eh, everything's practice.